So, today is their first day to feed. And their reaction to this will kind of tell us if they're ready. And he was ready. You notice the gruel was, the, um, gruel was pretty thick. And I was telling Anton Antonio and Stephanie here that you do that because the lick reflex is something that is um, designated by a hormone as they mature. And if it's not there, then the suckle reflex will kick in and they will want to suck and they will aspirate. And aspiration pneumonia with gruel is nasty. So if you make their gruel thick enough, then when they suckle, if you were wrong and when you expect them to be ready to eat, then they can't really suck it down their windpipe and they won't aspirate and get pneumonia. But as you can see, first rigs and now Myrtle at three weeks and what, four days, they were more than ready to eat. Huh, guys? And we have paper towels for they eat and see what puppies do. Puck poop. I take it you like that, huh, Riggs? That good stuff? Here you go. Hi, guy. And there's mom keeping an eye out watching. <laughs> and there's that silly watching. Their gruel is a mixture of um, puppy milk replacer. Hey, baby. And um, where'd he go? Hold on. And ground puppy food. Some more? And chicken baby food. Come on, baby. Want some more? Here, here you go. Go with Bubba. And water. And some pet tinnit as an iron supplement. Why are you crying? Yeah, you'll figure it out. Because you want a lot of, you want it really high in fat for now. Because their mother's milk was really high in fat. If you notice over there beyond them is a water bowl because from the minute you start feeding them they should always have 24-7 availability to water. And I would say they were more than ready to eat. Like they really need to grow fast again. <laughs> they're only being two. It's kind of anticlimactic. Normally they just dive in the bowl and they're stepping on it and stepping in it and they end up cleaning it off each other and all that good stuff. These little guys are pretty big and some of it may be contributed to the fact that there was only two but most of it is the fact that both their mom and their dad are very big in bone. And there's a lot of bone behind them. Go see Antonio. Oh, I'm going to see Stephanie. They've actually eaten really good for their first trip to the gruel bar. I've yet to find anything that kind of rattles them. <laughs> and now you're the yep. lollipop. Look, <laughs> he got it on you. It's like, here, let me clean that. <laughs> So what are you doing, Antonio? So you want some? It's like, that was so good. I think I'm going to find me some more. Why don't you could try out the water bowl, dude? <laughs> Silly. It's enough. Gonna find Bubba. There's Martin again. 
little. So yeah, they're pretty spry. Oh yeah, you feel better? That tummy feeling good? They're actually pretty confident little puppies, especially to be that young. As you can see, I left their tails. I have an import. I have come over with a natural tail. And I, um, oh, somebody's piddling. Somebody's pooping, y'all. I'm hitting paws. I'll be back. Uh -huh. I, yeah, he's just, he's going to be a little pistol. So as y'all can see, I moved the water bowl a little closer for rigged. And he stepped in it. All in it. Both feet. Mm-hmm. They're silly and Stephanie. Here. Here. Oh look. <laughs> he said, Oh me Antonio, I got my tummy full. I want a nap. You need to learn to drink water. So we're talking about their tails. And I decided to leave these two because I've watched Prophet use his tail for balance, for communication. And I think that um, there's merit to that. If you watch Riggs, he certainly has already figured out how to use his. There you go. He's fine. Here. Stephanie. He carries his a lot higher than Murtaugh. So he's probably going to be the more dominant of the two. Which, just from his other behaviors, I think that, um, buddy, oh, he's finally figured it out, too. How cool. Yum, num. Mm-hmm, look who's spoiling you already. Oh, my. Murtaugh's such a big boy. Real heavy bone. Nice body. I love his, his nice tight feet. Even as, as little as he is, and it's just now starting to get up on him. You can tell his toes aren't splayed. They're nice and formed. He's just now learning to use them little feet. Rigs too. Hey. Yeah. Eating poop. The joy of having puppies. That's why we use the blankets. I have two to make right now. We auctioned off for the Connie Corso Rescue holiday auction. Riggs, come here. What you doing, bud? Was that fun? Feel better? <laughs> when you visit, we hand y'all a baggie and a roll of paper towels. And I buy the cheap outdoor rugs for the floor. And after every litter, we throw them away and get new ones. Because part of the puppy's growing and developing correctly and socially, I feel like, is that they interact with you at, from as early an age as possible. There's not much to me to be learned just sitting in the whelping box. He's already touching on the Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're, they learn chewing that real quick. Oh. <laughs> is Aunt Silly going to bite Aunt Silly? That's, that's not very social, Martin. But that is typical for Riggs, huh? Kim Sealer, go play with him. Hi, darling. What you doing? Huh? Come here. Oh, quit whining. Come here. I'm not going to hold you right now. Go play. Go play with Bubba. Hey, Bubba. Oh, yeah. Get your brother. Yep. Oh, you did. See, he knew. Because he's already stepped in it one time. Do you like the water too, Riggs? Go play in it. 
Go play with Baba. You need to go play with Baba. And that's Aunt Silly again. She teaches them so much. She's a really good surrogate. Once I start weaning them from their mother, she will actually be totally in charge of them for a while. She does so good with that. Communicating now. I think he's about ready to play. Oh, there he stepped in it. That's good. That's fine. When I'm done, when, I'm, when they're through, I will um, take in. I've got a, that rag over there is warm and damp, and they'll get cleaned up, get their little sponge bath. He's wanting to be mischievous, can you tell? Mm -hmm. This is how he got stuck under the love seat yesterday. Because there's not a corner that cannot go unexplored. <laughs> They'll be just old enough to teach Katniss's puppies the ropes. Put your foot in it now, huh? Go get him, Silver. You gonna play? You just want to take a nap. Uh -uh, I'm not holding you right now. No, you don't need to be held. You need to go run off your food. Hmm. Go run off your food. You're so spoiled. All right, can you tell I've been holding him maybe a little bit? I know. Don't don't make me look so bad. Go play. Uncle. <laughs> He's like, I'm the hold me baby. <laughs> yeah, Murtaugh's the hold me baby. <laughs> There's one in every litter. Riggs was a little too feisty for that. So Murtaugh said, here, I'll volunteer. <laughs> what? Ooh. Who said that? <laughs> you did not. You did, didn't you? Did you say that? <laughs> huh? Huh? Who are you fussing at? I beg your pardon. You're so sassy mouth. What? Mm -hmm. Okay, well they're getting tired. So, I hope you enjoyed their first meal. Signing off for now. Thanks for watching.